सो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर क्लास ऑफ ए बी एम ई बाई साइंसेज दिस इज अभिषेक विथ यू सो टूडे आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सेंट्रल डॉगमा सो सेंट्रल डॉगमा इज अ बेसिक मॉलिकल बायोलॉजी प्रोसेस गोइंग ऑन इन एवरी सेल ओके सो इफ यू आर स्टडिंग मॉलिकल बायोलॉजी देन यू नीड टू नो वाट इज सेंट्रल डॉगमा दैट इज द बेसिस ऑफ मॉलिकल बायोलॉजी एज वेल एज Uh, if you are applying this term to the life forms that life form cannot go on in the absence of this central dogma so it's nothing but the process of dna to rna to protein this is the process of central dogma but there are some exceptions as well as expansions which will be discussed in this class so first of all dna which was uh, discovered by rosalind franklin and later confirmed by uh, watson and crick model was the basis of life or inheritance of life said so from dna if it makes the copy of it itself if it makes the copy of itself then it is called replication because it is replicating its form into another copy okay so this is called dna replication now if that dna is converted to another form of life that is called rna which is single stranded dna is double stranded rna is single stranded generally so it is called transcription so transcription so from dna to rna the process is called transcription so there is a script script writing from dna to form the rna now translation is the process where the rna the information encoded in the form of ribonucleic acid is transferred to protein form okay or it can you can say that that the different amino acids will be joined together to form proteins okay so this process is called translation so replication transcription translation this is the process you will say when a life form is going on from one to another suppose your father and mother will form or uh, will produce a progeny that is decided by this molecular processes now there are several expansions of this theory okay because there are exceptions so few of the organisms you may have heard that uh, hiv that is human immunodeficiency virus or retroviruses they have a process that is going on opposite direction so they can form dna from rna that is in the form of cdna from rna the genome is rna means they contain rna as their life form okay but during Uh, replication process or during uh, producing their progenies several millions of progenies that time they need to convert their rna in the form of cdna that is complementary dna and that is done by one enzyme called reverse transcriptase okay so the enzyme responsible for this step is called reverse transcriptase and that type of particular viruses having this enzyme okay now another exception you can say or another expansion you can say during uh, this central dogma process is that some of the viruses do not contain or do not form dna during the replication process or the production of progeny from one generation to another generation okay so they they do not necessarily need dna to go from one generation to another generation so suppose 
Mm, you can say uh, different examples like uh, coronaviruses, which is responsible for different type of respiratory diseases. That is coronavirus. Or you can say another example is suppose influenza virus. So they contain RNA as their genome. Okay. So during their life forms, they directly replicate the RNA inside them or they directly uh, go to the protein levels. So suppose RNA to RNA or protein. So this is the form they will go during their uh, reproduction process. So this is another expansion of central dogma process. Now you know that there are several forms of RNA like mRNA, tRNA, okay, rRNA. So mRNA is the messenger RNA which will be translated in the form of protein. But the tRNA or the rRNAs are not transferred to proteins. So they are working as a RNA form. Okay. So suppose uh, uh, one example you can say non-coding. They are called non-coding RNAs. NC RNAs. So these are called non-coding RNAs like tRNA or rRNA or several other RNAs are there but I will not go in detail with that. So they have several functions in the cell. Uh, so like uh, you can say microRNA is also there, which is also a non-coding RNA and it has a crucial role and extensive research is ongoing on that particular RNA in several processes. So I will write also as I said it, that is microRNA. So these are very crucial RNAs which will form as a RNA. Okay. So this is also expansion of central dogma because they will never be converted into the protein or never be converted back to DNA, but they are forming or they are functioning as in RNA. Okay. So next is I will say that that this replication, transcription, and translation process is you can say that divided or just you can say the process is ongoing inside the virus or maybe the bacteria at the different forms. Okay, So the genome may contain RNA and that time they may not require DNA as an intermediate form during the progeny process or they may require DNA like HIV or retroviruses during their forming of progeny. So these are some kind of modifications or expansions. Another one I can say is epigenetics. So what is epigenetics? Epigenetics is the modification of DNA. Okay. Either by histone modification. stone modification or methylated modifications. So what do you mean that epigenetics? Epigenetic means the phenotype and the genotype. Not always what is in the genotype is forming the phenotype. Okay. So that particular changes in a particular cell types is different and that is because the epigenetic mechanism that is some genes are repressed or expressed and the expression levels are differing from one cell type to another cell types. Suppose uh, neuron cells, one type of cells in your body and another you can say that uh, skin cells. So skin cells and neuron cells both are cells both are present in your body. The same DNA is present in all the cells, but 
their morphology and the function is totally different from one another and that different uh, always not always but most of the time given by this epigenetic regulation by histone modifications or methylated mechanisms which are present within the cell so this central dogma process including this kind of modifications and variation at it all uh, just create a unique form of life so every cell or everyone is unique and the central dogma with this expansion and exceptions are the most fascinating uh, study ongoing and which is the basis of life so i hope you like this video thank you very much don't forget to subscribe uh, goodbye